The NFL offseason is a groundswell of optimism for fan bases because of the number of resources available. But some teams are entering the 2021 offseason richer than others. While some like the New Orleans Saints and Pittsburgh Steelers have negative ledgers with no easy way to create cap space, others have plenty of money to work with. In some instances, teams also possess premium draft assets, setting them up for a windfall. Winning the offseason doesn't always translate to immediate marks in the win column because franchises still have to be smart with their assets, but acquiring certain resources can paint a positive outlook. 1. Miami Dolphins the Miami Dolphins are by far the most intriguing team on my list. Miami went 5-11 in 2019 after blowing up its roster and bringing on Brian Flores to direct the rebuild as head coach. The team went 10-6 this season, finishing second in the AFC East, yet still possesses the assets of a rebuilder that one would expect to be well below the .50 the .500 mark. The Dolphins' $25.5 million in projected cap space is a top 10 number. The team also owns the third pick in the upcoming draft, courtesy of the Laramie Tunsil trade with the Houston Texans. Miami also has the 18th pick, two second rounders and a third rounder, with four selections in the top 50. Players on the open market surely see what's happening under Flores and view Miami as an attractive destination. On last Sunday, ESPN's Chris Mortensen reported Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson is unhappy with his current franchise would consider waiving his no-trade clause to go to Miami. That won't come to fruition, but that may be an indication the Dolphins could be successful in free agency given the caliber of player Watson is. With a strong quarterback situation thanks to Tua Tungavailoa, the team could take the next step forward at an accelerated pace. The challenge for the Dolphins is to parlay that success and continue to level up there with some potential key changes, such as at offensive coordinator, that change is guaranteed. But the Dolphins, thanks to all of their assets in the 2021 NFL Draft and their salary cap space, do have a key luxury on their side. They don't have to worry about threading the needle. There is not, as there were in the Jeff Ireland and Mike Tannenbaum eras, a razor-thin margin for error that handcuffs what direction the Dolphins choose to go this offseason. And if you best summarize Miami's outlook this offseason with one word, the one that makes the most sense is, flexibility. So if the Dolphins find a wide receiver hit the free agent market that is too good to pass up, they're free to sign him to a big money contract and not worry about collapsing the rest of the roster build. If, hypothetically, superstar quarterback Deshaun Watson continues his full-court press attempt to get out of Houston and declares Miami a desirable destination, the Dolphins can assess that situation and perhaps even pull off a monster trade without crumbling their salary cap. It would requi require some subsequent moves to negotiate the short-term cap situation, but it is very easily attainable for the Dolphins. If Miami wants to stay put at number 3 overall and draft Penny Sewell of Oregon or Devona Smith of Alabama, they can. But they can also field offers for the number 3 overall pick from quarterback-hungry teams and cash out to see their pick surplus continue for years to come. Pick your poison. Choose your own adventure. The Dolphins will have the chance to explore it all. And if big moves are a part of the puzzle, some will suggest the team is falling into old, bad habits. But that isn't the case and the reason why is because the Dolphins were so deliberate in establishing a bare-bones foundation in 2019. That's why Miami tore things down the way they did. So that, in the words of Chris Greer during the 2019 season, they can, do whatever they want, in building up their roster. 2. Cincinnati Bengals The Cincinnati Bengals annually land on lists like this, though the franchise is not known to flex its resources. That changed during the 2020 offseason. Letting Zach Taylor build the roster going into his second year as head coach, the Bengals emerged as one of free agency's biggest spenders. They made DJ Reader the NFL's highest paid nose tackle at four years and $53 million. They gave a three-year, $42 million deal to cornerback Trey Waynes. Safety Von Bell got $18 million over three years. They also extended running back Joe Mixon, four years, $48 million, and franchise tagged wideout AJ Green, $18.2 million. It feels like the team could be willing to spend again this offseason. Cincinnati is sticking with Taylor despite his 6 2 5 1 record over two seasons, and it owns the fifth pick in the 2021 draft. It also highest projected cap number at $34.3 million and will likely make cap saving cuts, including Geno Atkins. 
the Bengals have the resources to overhaul the offensive line in front of Joe Burrow and improve its 26th-ranked defense, especially after last offseason signaled to free agents they are willing to play ball on the open market like a modern franchise. 3. Indianapolis Colts The Indianapolis Colts are another team that could win the 2021 offseason because of their history of being savvy with cap space. This year, the Colts have a projected $68.9 million in cap space, the third highest number this offseason. That's not bad for a team that just made a playoff appearance after an 11-win season and lost to a 13-3 Buffalo Bills team by only three points on the road. But the big question is at quarterback. Should 39-year-old veteran Philip Rivers return in the range of another one-year, $25 million deal? Or should the Colts move on even if he doesn't choose to retire work with if they go a different route? Rivers' arrival last year made the team into a viable destination for veteran free agents who wanted to go to a contender, and the front office also did a good job managing its draft assets, including the selection of running back Jonathan Taylor in the second round. The budding core and willingness to spend will keep the Colts as an attractive destination even if Rivers doesn't return. There's no reason to believe the Colts, who also fielded a top 10 defense in 2020, will not be able to capitalize on their resources. 4. Jacksonville Jaguars The Jacksonville Jaguars boast the first pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, with the team seemingly poised to land a generational talent in Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. But the good news hardly stops there. The Jaguars also own the Los Angeles Rams first round via the Jalen Ramsey trade and have 11 selections, with four in the top 45. Additionally, they boast the top projected cap number in 2021 at $77.4 million, meaning the front office could its pick of any name on the open market provided the player buys in to the rebuild. Granted, the team still needs to assemble a coaching staff following the firing of Doug Maroney. But there is a bounty of assets, and if utilized well, there could be a quick turnaround for Jacksonville in the AFC South. 5. New York Jets The New York Jets ended the error-filled Adam Gase era by blundering away the draft's top selection via two wins after a 0-13 start. Still, nobody can blame Jets fans for turning to the positive for now. The team is searching for a new coaching staff, and it has the second overall pick in 2021, 10 total selections and the second highest projected cap mark at $62.9 million. That coaching staff could be defensive-minded and feature someone like Robert Sala, according to Pro Football Talk's Chris Sims, which would surely help a bottom 10 unit. What's encouraging is the wealth of options. New York could give 2018 first Sam Darnold another chance, meaning the team would still have one of the most valuable things in the NFL, a potential franchise passer on a cheap rookie deal. If that happens, the Jets could trade down from number two and acquire a treasure trove of future draft capital. If not, they could draft another possible franchise passer and deal Darnold while shoring up other needs on the open market. The Jets are a bit of a wild card given the flexibility their stockpile of resources offers. Now they need to make sure they don't stumble like they did when it seemed they had the first pick cemented. Panthers will benefit from coaching 2021 Senior Bowl. The 2021 NFL draft season begins at the Senior Bowl for most NFL teams, and despite the COVID-19 pandemic, that will be the same again this year. The Senior Bowl announced last Monday the Miami Dolphins and Carolina Panthers have been assigned to coach the two teams of top senior and graduating college football prospects on January 30 in Mobile, Alabama. With uncertainty over whether the NFL scouting combine in Indianapolis and college pro days will even happen, the Dolphins and Panthers will gain an advantage by spending a week evaluating and coaching some of the draft's best prospects in person. The Senior Bowl staffs are typically decided by draft order and or winning percentage and neither the Dolphins nor Panthers were first up. Multiple teams passed on the opportunity to coach either because of coaching changes or other issues. But Dolphins coach Brian Flores and Panthers coach Matt Rule expressed their excitement over the opportunity. Sen Senior Bowl officials have stated that players, NFL personnel and game staff will be under stringent COVID-19 protocols and testing throughout the duration of the practice week. The Dolphins have two first-round picks, number 3 and number 18, and two second-round picks, number 36 and number 50, while the Panthers have the number 8 pick and could be a candidate to select a quarterback. For the second consecutive year, the Dolphins are one of the draft's top power players. 
with four picks in the top 50 and nine overall, there's a good chance Miami will end up selecting at least one and likely multiple players whom they will coach in the Senior Bowl. All eyes should focus on finding playmakers to surround quarterback Tuatunga Vailoa and bodyguards to protect him, that means running back, wide receiver and offensive line will be high-priority positions. Many first-round options at those positions, Alabama's Devona Smith, Jalen Waddell and Najee Harris, Oregon's Penny Sewell, LSU's Jamar Chase, Northwestern's Rashawn Slater and Clemson's Travis Etienne, are not scheduled to be at the Senior Bowl, but there are plenty of exciting prospects who could be good fits for the Dolphins. On defense, the Dolphins are in better shape after finishing the 2020 season tied for fifth in scoring. But there are senior bowl prospects, particularly at linebacker, safety and edge rusher who can help the Dolphins close the gap between themselves and the AFC East champion Buffalo Bills. This is the first time the Dolphins have coached the senior bowl since 2010, and that year their first four selections played at the senior bowl. 10, and that year their first four selections played at the senior bowl. Flores is ecstatic for the coaching opportunity, especially in an uncertain offseason when opportunities to evaluate players in person might be difficult to come by.